Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're talking about the Sun and Earth's magnetic field. Several items to touch on in both of those categories. We've got solar flares, CMEs, solar storm watch, Earth's field generation, the current magnetic pole shift, and the value of being at this channel. You ready? Here's the last 24 hours on our star, and we find flaring and eruptive activity is continuing as filament destabilizations have joined the sunspot flaring events, contributing to the solar wind enhancements. Big filament went off the left there behind the coronal hole. Here it is again zoomed in. This was those solar tornadoes from a few days ago. They have launched, and the plasma looked wild on SOHO. Brutal CME, thankfully aimed away from the Earth. And this is an excellent reminder of why the filaments need to be closely monitored. When they launch the CMEs, it can be as bad or worse than the solar flares, but the filaments don't have a flare warning. They just erupt. Three more days and that would have been directly facing the Earth when it erupted. The sunspots keep flaring because their maturity continues advancing. Growth, complexity, both of which are accelerating. Good news is they haven't put out big blasts, and in two days they will be turned away from our planet. Don't forget, there are some weak and slow-moving CMEs already on their way to Earth, could hit in close succession later this week, possible geomagnetic storms coming with them. Around that same time, the coronal hole will be directly facing Earth. Its solar wind enhancement won't arrive until Sunday or Monday, right after those weak CMEs. Interesting paper up next discussing how Earth's magnetic field could have existed longer than they believed, where a purely liquid core could form one. While it is an interesting advancement in the theory of the science, it's also good that they have noted how critical the magnetic field is for our modern civilization. It is under extreme risk when the field flips, as it has many times in history, and scientists already know it is shifting now. Our other top share this morning is what is going around the internet a great deal the last day. I'm sure many of you saw it yesterday or you're going to see it today. It's the story about Earth's magnetic field, the South Atlantic anomaly growing, the new data from Swarm. It's the story I shared on September 21 and then dove into much deeper detail with on September 22nd. This was the video about the magnetic field being down by 30% now. Just over three weeks ago is when that came out. I'm sure some of you remember it. I'll say their slider is cool though. I didn't have anything like that in my video. Pretty fantastic way to compare the changes over the last 11 years. And veteran observers know being here is like being weeks early on this kind of critical news, if not months early. Folks, tomorrow, the monthly issue of our e-magazine Observer Review comes out. Tons of great articles this month covering and updating the most important science, including the ENSO impact on polar motion of the Earth, the continued exploration of solar storm activity triggering earthquakes, the paper we just discussed from September on Earth's magnetic field, which the rest of the world is just learning about right now, and much, much more. Link is below. It is the best way to support us, and it is the only publication in the world tracking the pole shift and key observer science. Don't forget to grab your tickets to our winter tour, five cities over the next five months. It's what you need to know, what's coming, what you need to do, and how to survive and put yourself and your children into the next stage of Earth. Not much time left to come out to Observer Ranch in our rookie year. Only a couple more events, good ones coming up next month in November. Winter tour and observer review links are below observerranch.com to come see us. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.